antithesis to these, but there are five universal moral principles. Purity, respect for authority, fairness, community, a sense of loyalty to community, serving community, and harm, not to do harm to others. So purity, we can all understand how purity is a universal moral principle, because if I eat or drink impure things, I become sick. We all have a sense that we need things that are pure. We need things that are real. So in approaching transcendental knowledge, you want to approach it authentically. You want to get the real thing. You don't want their prayer for proper called it as it is. It's not something phony. It's not something that pretends to be knowledge and is something else. So how do you know you're getting the real thing? Ultimately, the way you know you're getting the real thing is by your own personal experience. Raja Vidya, Raja Gunyam, Pravitram, Idamutam, Pravitram, most pure. Pratyaksha Bhagavan Dharma, Susukam Kartaramiya, Pratyaksha. You experience it. And Susukam makes you happy. You get direct experience, what we call in our Hare Krishna movement, realization. You study this and you go, oh, it's actually true. <laughs> it becomes real in your own life and it brings you not just sukham, but susukam. So that's the ultimate test as to whether or not anything is authentic. The ultimate test as to whether or not food is pure and water is pure is what does it do for your health. I mean, somebody can tell you by this chemical process, I'll tell you the water is pure. But if you drink it and you become sick. So that's the ultimate evidence. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Or as uh, Jesus said, you can tell a tree by its fruits. So the ultimate way of telling, if you have an authentic process, it doesn't produce the authentic fruits. By following the process, do you develop the qualities Krishna listed, listed in the second chapter? the end of the 12th chapter, the 14th chapter, of course, Mahaprabhu in many places. What are the qualities of one who's taken up devotional service? So that's our ultimate evidence for authenticity. However, what's going to induce me to take up the process in the first place and to test it? Because so many people in the world are going to say, this is an authentic spiritual process. Correct? Are we the only people in the world saying we have an authentic spiritual process? No. So many. And what are you going to do? Try everything? You can't, even in one lifetime. It's not possible. And you have to try things for a while. You can't just say, well, I'm going to try practicing Krishna consciousness for five minutes and, and test it like that. Right? There has to be some uh, developed test. So you, you wouldn't have time to test everything in the world. How are you going to decide where to place your faith? Therefore, Rupa Goswami talks about the adhikar for taking up Vaidhi Bhakti is what? What is the adhikar? Shraddha. Hmm? Shraddha. Shraddha particularly in? Hmm? Yes, Guru. And particularly? Shastra. Particularly Shastra. Shraddha in Shastra because Vaidhi Bhakti means Bhakti Bhakti according to the dictations of Shastra. The Shastra says do this, do this. Of course, it has to also be Guru because you understand Shastra through Gurus. You can't really separate. So therefore, in order for us to have enough faith to take up the process and see whether or not it works, we have to have some faith that this is genuine Shastra. Therefore, the beginning of getting Bhagavad Gita authentically is at least some preliminary, and Prabhupada says a little further on in this uh, introduction, which I don't want to take from the forthcoming speakers, but he says, at least theoretically accept that Krishna is God. In other words, provisionally. Okay, I don't yet know if Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but if I want to get the benefit of reading Bhagavad Gita, let me just say I'm going to accept that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And without that kind of acceptance, how are you going to have enough faith in his words to put it into practice to find out whether or not it works. <laughs>